Join. Join. Gun, gun. Gun, gun. Go for it. I'm going to think about it. Do you like that? <laughs> Luke and I did all this bend ones very close, isn't it? You that's know, 36 like, foot to the back of it, but I mean, how many have we had that's gone that far back? No, None. No. I can do it without hitting the substation and without knocking them two houses down and without knocking this house down. Mm -hmm. Like all these houses round here, none of these people need worry about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you've never mm -hmm. seen one jump backwards, mm -hmm. have you? Oh, no. This one's very close, though, isn't it? It's 36 feet from the end of this semi, which is plenty far enough. I'll stand in between, anyway, in between the bloody chimney and the semi, yeah. and it sets off. Oh, yeah. Might have to run, but <laughs> But I don't think so, you know, I reckon you're So you're, you're over. confident? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just this insurance light, you know, like. Yeah. We've had the ordinance survey map there. They want £3,000 before we knock a brick out of it for a yeah. million quid's worth of cover. <laughs> Them men have got carpets a foot thick and marked and jagged, yeah. you know, it ain't fair, you know. So it's just up the insurance whether the job goes on or not, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. You the, could... the thing is, in my present state, like, uh, I can't afford to give them bloody £3,000. No. no. Um, you know, so... so what I don't know uh... what we're going to do. I mean, we have never done any damage, have we? No, oh, no. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if we had a bad track record and we'd yeah. smashed everything up all over the place. I mean, I've never done any damage. That's the thing, you know, that upsets me most of all, like. I suppose looking at it, though, at least very dodgy, don't they? Yeah, the well, the men are timid, aren't you know, them men, you know. In fact, really, it's the old, old tale. It's the compass is in the map. Mm. One and a half times the height of the chimney. Anything that's in that area is dead in their eyes, so that's yeah. what you've got to pay for. Mm. And we're going to have to sort this in yeah, one yeah. way or another, aren't we? Because yeah, uh, it's yeah. going to cost a lot more if you have to do it by well, hand, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, they want to, get, probably, the, uh, want to get the adrenaline going. <laughs> <laughs> The insurance job seems to have come to a, an happy conclusion. <laughs> We've got it down to 700 quid for the cover and uh, everything goes well, we should be all right. 99% confident, as usual. Good morning. morning. Uh, Fred Dimler will be dropping this chimney on Sunday mm. and we'd like you to leave your house about 11 o'clock. Oh. It'll take about half an hour to come down. So. Oh. Right. You've nothing to worry about in that. Is uh, nothing's ever gone wrong before. So. Right. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Fred Dibner will be dropping the chimney on Sunday morning at eleven o'clock. So oh. it, it would mean you're leaving your house for half an hour at all. How is uh, it for safety? Well, you know, there'll be no problem. He's very competent at doing these jobs. Yes. Fred, you know, he's, yes. he's had no accidents as yet. Well, he's done them in worse places than this, you know. Yeah. He'll yeah. send, send it that way. There's plenty of yeah. room between that. Well, we that think of those houses there. They're closest still. Oh, they're closest still, yeah. yeah. Fred Dibner will be dropping this chimney on Sunday morning. Oh. About 11 o'clock. Yeah. Is it going to be safe? I mean... Oh, Only I've, right, got a, I've got an elderly lady of 92, and uh, I don't know how we're going to get her out. Oh, see. Because she can't walk. She can't no. walk at all. What will be the danger? I mean, if we do stay in the house, if I can't get her out at all, well, uh, is... Well, I don't think you'd be able to stay in the, the factory inspector won't allow it. No, the fact yeah. is that it might just drop yeah. this way, so, yeah. Well, there's no problem, there's, there'll be no danger here, never, nothing's ever happened before yeah. like this, you know. And, uh, it's always the first time. No, I believe there was yeah. one at the corner of Drury Lane that, uh, that actually killed a woman when it came down. There's no danger whatsoever to your property, but it's just a precaution. No. So, Very would nice. you be able to do that? Yes. Yeah. 
can't we watch it? Well, it's just beyond the safe side. You're in, you're in reach of the chimney. Yes, so, we've been looking forward to it. Have you? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's been awful to be in Rome, not it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Really, everybody comes see a disaster. Like we did warmer one day. Um, there was this car parked in a back street, and from the distance away we were from it, it looked quite a good motor car. Windows were clean, tyres were up, and you know, paintwork was shiny. And there were this bird stood at the back gate, you see. And I said, "Hey, love, who, whose is that car there?" And she said, "Oh, like Mr. Jones's, you know." I said, "Well, could you get him shift it?" So she said, I'll nip round the front, knock on the door and tell him you want me out of the way. Anyway, he appeared at the back gate and said to him, you know, will you move your motor like? And he said, oh, he said, it's, it's buggered, it's had it, you know. He said, I've rung up about three of these crap car men and none of them have turned up. And all the time we were talking and I was approaching him and I could see why when I got to the car, it was like full of pit holes and, but yeah, everything was clean and shiny. It was one of them that had been lovingly curved from the outside and nothing underneath, you see. So I said, well, I had this brainstorm, you know. I said, do you want me to get rid of it for you? And he says, yeah, if you want. You know, I said, well, if we take it out there, throw it out there with the Land Rover and park it on concrete, we'll knock the chimney down on it, you see, and flatten this bloody car, you see. So it were early doors in the morning, this, and we'd not finished doing the chiseling. And we'd park the car right in the firing line, up where it was going to go. And the crowd began to gather, you see, and we got our sentries in different points for keep any idiots out of the way. And they're all making these comments like, that car's in the way, you see, you know, he's going to get that car, and they're all at it. He lit that car, and by this time, the fire's lit. And they're all, you know, Donald and other fellas are picking up all these interesting snippets of conversation. He should really shift that car, you know, it's going to hit that car, you know. <laughs> then all of a sudden, boom, down it went, flattened the bloody, flattened that car. And they were unbelievable, you know, like they, they didn't know that it was no good. <laughs> they thought it was a bloody beautiful car. And we it flattened it. it was, when we dug it out, it was about four inches thick, even the engine as well. Because it were big blocks of stone, this chimney were made of. But it really, you couldn't tell them with a car there, it was just a continuous pile of rubble with car somewhere underneath it. Oh, come on, Trevor. Sorry. <laughs> right, come on, give us a lift. Shove as much of this paper in, screw it all up, all the way around the bottom. Confidence in us, look where he's put my bloody crane. Right, can we all move down here, please? Okay. Right there's the bottom. Can we move down, please? Yes, certainly. Right, move up top. Generally blows about a bit, this. Just, uh... <laughs> Come on, lads. Can you move farther down, please? Um, right, madam. Uh, <laughs> we'll move the crowd. Oh, she's bad news here. Um, you've got to go. Right now, but we're about to commence operations. Yeah. Come on. Operation Chimney. 
Yeah, you, you manage it. Not too yeah. bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, yeah. I'm sooner have you down the end of the. Yeah, yeah. When it gets going, everybody down corner and street. Go on, They'll not let it break break our break. Come on, lads. Is it? Just after 11. 11 o'clock, Jedi. So you got girls. Oh, right. Right, right in the middle. The, uh... Hey, clear okay, off up there. Right in the middle up there. Stick it, stick it in there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it to light somewhere. I know I did. Wait a minute. Going now. Yeah. Right. Right. Round here a bit, girls. Uh, in the end. Yeah. Everywhere, isn't it? 